Hello everybody. I am in the reassembly stage on my 43 restoration project and I thought I would drop a really quick video on how to adjust the clutches on a Gravely Model L garden tractor. It's a pretty straightforward process. There's not a lot to it, but I figured if anybody needs the information, I'd throw it out there. The only tools you need for this is a pair of 9 16 inch wrenches. So let's take a look at the different, uh, different mechanisms, how they work together, and, and what we need to adjust. On your right side handlebar, you notice you've got two shift levers here. The outboard one is your forward reverse, inboard is high-low. How these work is as you move them one way or the other, it's going to push or pull this rod, and they lock into place by literally camming over center snapping into place. The other end of the rods that attach the shift levers have a threaded section and four jam nuts to control how far this clutch lever is going to move back and forth on this rod. The near one is your high-low, forward one is your forward and reverse. Let's adjust the high-low clutch first. So what you want to do is adjust these jam nuts so that when you move your lever and it pulls this, pulls this tight to, to pull the clutch all the way in, and then the jam nut catches and it creates enough tension that it cams over your handle and locks it into place. Uh, this one actually seems like it's, it's pretty good right now. You, you want it to snap over nice and firm uh, you don't want it uh, really loose to where it'll vibrate out. You don't want it snapping in so hard that you you put too much pressure and you're just breaking this or, or bending the rod around or something. Just a nice firm snap into place. So it looks like, looks like that one's pretty much where it needs to be. So we'll go ahead and tighten the, the outboard jam nut against it, just hand tight for now. Let's check the other direction. Okay, that does cam over, but there's absolutely no snap. So we'll need to tighten this. If, if the handle, the shift lever wouldn't cam all the way over, then we'd have to loosen it. But it cams over without snapping, so we need to tighten it, move it closer to the spring. Now it's starting to snap a little bit. think that should be good. So we'll tighten the, the outboard jam nut up against it. Take our two 916 wrenches and we'll tighten these jam nuts right up against one another. Sometimes this can be a little tricky because there's not a whole lot of room to work. There's that one. Give ourselves a little more room to work with here. And there's that one. So we'll test it again. Snaps into high, snaps into low. Like we're in good shape. Let's move on and do forward and reverse. It's pretty much the same process. The only difference is while we do want to lock it forward, we do not want it to be able to lock into reverse. If you lock this machine into reverse and you trip and you fall, it will run you over. So for safety reasons, adjust your reverse clutch to where it, it does not lock into place. So let's do forward first. The control lever 
it does cam over, but not very hard. So we need to move the inboard jam nut closer to the, the spring. Okay, that locks in maybe a little too hard. There we go. So we just snug that up for now. Now for reverse, we do not want the control lever to be able to, to cam over and lock into place. So right now it'll cam over. That's not good. So we're going to keep tightening this up. Okay, that won't cam over. I want it a little tighter. There we go. That handle is probably 45 degrees from camming over. So that's perfect. That's right, we want it. There's absolutely no way this tractor can get itself locked into reverse now. So now it's the same thing as the, the high low. We're just going to take our wrenches and we are going to tighten up the jam nuts. Get them good and snug so they won't work loose. One word of caution. If you set your clutches and you find that they keep going out, they keep slipping around, the adjustments won't stay put, check this bolt right here. If this bolt isn't nice and tight, this lever here will slip around on your shaft. So always double check these just to make sure they're snug. Otherwise you could end up chasing your tail on this whole process back and forth. So that's all there is to it. That is how you adjust the clutches on a Gravely Model L garden tractor. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on another episode.